hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple motion graphic template inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects, I am going to create this new composition and I will call this comp as our main animation width is 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 and duration is 10 seconds and background color I will choose black color and simply hit ok then choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action so first thing we will do we will create some background elements so i'll press ctrl y on my keyboard to create one solid background and i'll name this layer as bg and i'll choose white color and simply hit ok then we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will choose this rectangle tool and we will simply double click on it so it will automatically create one rectangle with the whole composition size select this shape layer hit enter and let's call this layer as mask can hit ok then press s for scaling option and unlink this create one keyframe at the start and i'm gonna make it zero and go to around 1.15 frames or let's say one seconds and let's make it 100 now select both the keyframes and hit f9 choose this option link this again now then select this keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and by holding shift move this handle over here we'll get something like this now select this bg as you can see we have mode track mat and parent and linking if you hit f4 it will switch so we need this track mat option and we will choose alpha mask so if i hit play now we will get this kind of more reveal now select this bg go to the effect and presets panel and search for four color gradient only type four over here so at the end you will get four color gradient in generate menu simply double click on it now as you can see we are getting four types of colors with coordinates at each and every point so first thing we need to do we need to create uh, anchor point keyframe so oh, as we can see we have four points over here we will create one keyframe at point one another at point two point three and point four hit u then around one second what i'll do i'll select this i'll click on this point so as you can see we have this four anchor points over here which are movable so as you guys know at zero frame i have created each keyframe for each point and at one second what we will do i'll move this anchor point at this corner this anchor point at this corner this one over here and this one over here now i'll go to two seconds and now i'll move this point over here this point over here this point over here and this point over here now around three seconds move this point over here this point over here this one over here and this one over here so as you can see we'll get something like this now at four seconds all you need to do copy the initial keyframe by holding ctrl c ctrl v like that because our comp so comp is 10 seconds long so i'll select all the keyframes by holding alt i'll move them up to 10 seconds like that so if we hit play now as you can see we will get this kind of animations over here and now then you can change the colors if you want choose any one color and choose different versions of each and every color You can choose darker and lighter versions of colors. I'm going to choose something like this. So if you hit play now, you will get this kind of stuff. Now our background is ready. Now we have to focus on our text animation. So I'll choose my text. Go to the character option for the font. I'm going to choose poppins and I'll choose bold version. I don't want any stroke so I'll delete the stroke I'll choose white color over here and I'll type my first text let's call this as motion select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size like that now for 
at this point i want this thing to be animated so i'll select this text i'll move this over here then i'll go to the animate menu and i'll choose let's say opacity and initial opacity should be zero so i'll make it zero then go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start and go to around two seconds let's make it 100 so if you see now we will get this kind of animations now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we will get something like this now go to the advanced option and over here you will find this option called random order and enable that instead of odd choose on so we will get this random reveal of this text now go to the animator one choose go to the add and go to the property and select blur and increase the blurriness to 50 so we will get this kind of text reveal now after this press p for position create one keyframe and go to around three seconds and move this thing at the top now i'll choose text tool again and i'll type graphics select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like that press v and move this thing over here move this downward like that go over here and move this graphic text over here press p for position create one keyframe over here and at this point again create another keyframe go over here and i'll move this text upwards like that now at this point what i'm gonna do i'll select this rectangle and i'll create one shape press ctrl alt home select this shape layer hit enter and let's call this as mask 2 hit ok select this mask 2 and make it apparent with this motion text select this graphics and instead of track mat choose alpha mat hit u so we can see our keyframes we will get something like this now hit u again select this motion and graphics press p for position to reveal those keyframes select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this thing over here and this thing over here so if we play this thing now we will get this kind of animation if you want then you can move those keyframes over here and just simply move this thing up to here now right click new and create one null object hit enter and let's call this as text controller and hit ok now select this motion graphic motion and graphics layer and make it apparent with this text controller select this text controller press s for scaling option scale it to 130 create one keyframe at this point and go to around this one and let's make it 100 select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select the, select this graph editor by, by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get this kind of animation yep we will get something like this now we will select this motion graphic mask and text controller press ctrl shift c and we will call this as text animation and hit ok hit ctrl 0 to open our project window select this text animation cop and hit ctrl d bring it over here press s for scaling option and scale it now double click to open this composition select this graphic go to the character menu i'm gonna delete this fill and i'm gonna select this stroke and for the stroke width i'll choose 0.1 same select this motion text delete this fill and for the stroke width i'm choose 0.1 
as you can see we will get this hook at the background select this text animation 2 comp press t for opacity and let's make it 20. if you see this animation we will get something like this now select this text animation 2 and move this around to 15 frames and let's see how does it looks yep this looks good now choose our text tool again and type I don't want any stroke I'll choose white color type motion over here select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and instead of bold version I'll choose light version and move this thing over here go to the align tab align it horizontally hit ctrl D bring it down and here and hit ctrl T and type graphics select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally select both the text now move them over here press p for position create one keyframe go to three second again create another keyframe go to the start select this text move this downwards select this text move this upwards select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move these things over here so we'll get this kind of animation after that hit u now then i'll select this rectangle tool and for the color i'll choose something like this then by holding shift i'll create one rectangle press ctrl alt home select this rectangle hit ctrl d press v for selection tool move this over here hit ctrl d move this over here hit ctrl d hit ctrl d and hit ctrl d to duplicate it select those rectangle move them like that and blending mode i'll choose screen or let's say soft light well, this looks good go to the start press r for rotation create one keyframe go to the 10 second and let's make this first one one rotation this one two one two one two so if you just see this thing now we will get something like this now select all the layers go to the start press s for scaling option create one keyframe over here and go to around one second again create one other keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero select both the all the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift move this thing over here hit page down button one time alt close bracket right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok and move these things over here and i'll move this to around 15 frames here to you select those layers and bring them over here so as you can see this is our simple motion graphic template now select this text animation comp press p for position and bring this comp over here at the start create one keyframe and around 10 second move this comp over here so we will get a little bit continuous animation of this text like that and i'll hit n to complete this comp so as you can see with the help of simple techniques we can create this motion graphic template without using any third-party plugins